some of my friends on the uh, Grand Design Group uh, were having s some challenges with making some uh, fixing coaxial fittings in their trailer. I wanted to do a quick video here on how to make, uh, how to put on a uh, F fitting on a piece of coax cable so it looks like this. Um, basic tools that you need would be a, a good pair of cutters. These are actual coaxial cable wire cutters. Um, you could use a razor knife. Uh, I have the tool which is made by Cable Prep. They do sell uh, this stripping um, tool at home supply stores. Uh, as well as the tool, this one here is a uh, Telewire Digicon tool designed to put on a F fitting. Um, I've also seen these at hardware supply stores. I've had these for years. Um, the type of fittings, and this is a really cheap F fitting. I don't even use these anymore. You know, it's a crimp type fitting. Um, I use uh, waterproof F fittings. Uh, they come in different flavors and quality levels. These are pretty decent. Uh, they have O-rings, so when they're they're uh, compressed together, it's, it forms a watertight seal. A lot of times, the inside diameter is a little bit different based on the type of coax cable you use, like RG59, RG6. Um, they even make uh, fittings for, this is an RCA, if you wanted to make an RCA cable um, with an F-type crimp fitting. And here's a piece of uh, RG6 cable, has a fitting already on it. Um, this is what you want it to, to look like after you strip it, but we'll, for demonstration purposes, we'll, we'll cut one here. When I cut it, sometimes it gets a little bit compressed, and I just kind of push it and shape it back to be round again. I'm going to take your uh, stripping tool here, which has a, a set of cutters in there uh, and you'll notice that these this tool here has an arrow on it telling you the direction that you need to put your wire in so I'm going to turn around and I'm going to put the coax wire in uh, inside here I like to just stick it out just a little bit that's just me and you get some twist and it's going to cut through the um, the protective uh, outer sheathing here as well as the dielectric, it's got two razor cutters and there's gonna cut the dielectric down to the uh, center conductor and it's also gonna cut the shield. It makes two cuts. The first cut's deeper. I'm gonna pull this off and it's gonna reveal the uh, center conductor and it's a nice clean cut. And then I'm gonna peel off the second, from the second cut, which is going to reveal the, the shielding. Uh, this is just me. Some people don't do this. I like to peel back the shielding and make it try to make it as even as possible. This also ensures that none of that shielding touches the center conductor and create a situation where you um, short it. So nice and clean. And we're going to take... Uh, fitting and put it on here and sometimes these get really tight but the idea is to twist it on there so that these fittings are always tight on I, mean, I, I give it a tap with my tool here And I like to have the uh, center conductor just barely coming out, just barely. Now you take your um, compression tool here. And then give it a squeeze. And it compressed in the back side here. And now you got a, a watertight seal. So that's it. It's ready to go. It's a good clean fitting.